Hi guys, welcome to Nuxa YouTube channel. My name is Ramisha and I am your online instructor. So what's in this video? In this video I will tell you how to work with AWS EC2 Instance Connect Endpoint. So guys, let's begin the topic. But before start the lab session, we have to understand few points which is what is EIC and its use cases. So as you can see in my screen, this is the uh, official document page from AWS. Uh, it's clearly mentioned secure connectivity from public to private introducing EC2 instance connect endpoint and this is the graph they are trying to explain right this is a picture one so uh, basically Amazon EC2 instance connect endpoint support SSH and RDP connectivity without public IP address so now AWS EC2 instance don't need any bastion host or jump server anymore this is especially for EC2 instance launch in the private subnet uh, previously, what happened in three-tier AWS architecture, the EC2 instance launch in the private subnet had a requirement of bastion host or jump server to SSH or RDP. But now, AWS has launched a service name EC2 instance connect endpoint to SSH RDP to your EC2 instances in the private subnet securely without a need of having the bastion host, right? So the question coming to our mind is how it's different from EC2 instance connect option. Other EC2 instance connect options like we have EC2 instance connect, session manager, SSH client, etc. are just uh, integration to EC2 service. But EC2 instance endpoint connect is launched as a new service in AWS, right? So how does it work? Um, using IAM based row control, we can assign a specify IAM user or SSO roles permission for services EC2 instance connect with endpoint. So only those users will be able to use that, uh, that service for connecting to EC2, EC2. Network level access is controlled by the security group of the EC2 endpoint connect. So security is there and totally a user can connect to the EC2 instance connect endpoint and from there they can access private instances directly without requirement of public IP or bastion host, right? So let's begin the lab session and we'll see how uh, how this EIC is useful for the cloud admin, right? So I'm close this one, I'm back on my AWS console. So guys, this is, uh, you can see it's my AWS console and currently I'm in my North Virginia region, right? There is no EC2 instance available. Let us make a custom security group with the SSH and ping connectivity and I will go with the default VPC. You can make your own custom VPC as well, right? So let me refresh that one and first of all, I start with the security group. So I'll make my own security group. Name is the demo security group and description for testing EIC. I'll go with that one. Add rule, let me go with the SSH first and let me go with the ping connectivity ICMP. It's not mandatory, but I'll go with that one. Okay, go with the anywhere IPv4, scroll down and scroll down and create a security group. Right, so my security group, my security group demo SG is ready to use. I'll go back on EC2 dashboard. Now I'm going to launch one EC2 instance without uh, capturing public IP, right? Without occurring the public IP. So simply click on the instance, just launch simple EC2 instance, launch instance, and this time let me give the name uh, private EC2. Uh, not ECS, EC2, okay, I'll go with Amazon Linux, you can go with anyone. Under the free tier account, creep pair, if you have the existing one, you can go with that one. If you don't have, you can create it to your own. So I'll go with the demo key pair. I'll go with the PAM, create key pair, okay. Now network setting is important, so I'll go with the add it. Under auto and public IP, you want to enable it? No. I'll go with the disable and go with the security group. Uh, existing security group recently we have created demo SG so I'll go with that one okay now just launch a stance so uh, you can see that uh, I have successfully launched an EC2 instance right so click on the instance let's see okay now it's in pending condition so let it be refresh select my city instance and check at the public IP it's blank right there's no public IP city instance uh, IP associated with this instance and now private IP is this right so the question come in our mind is our my city instance is ready without public IP now the point come in our mind is how I can access this instance for for accessing this EC2 instance I'll make EIC endpoint from VPC dashboard right so just click on the VPC Open the VPC in new tab. Let it be open. Now 
now go to the endpoint currently i don't have an endpoint create endpoint give the name say demo endpoint scroll down click on ec2 instance connect endpoint this is the important one right vpc i'll go with the default one scroll down security group select your security group that is demo sg scroll down subnet select the subnet in which to create the endpoint so my subnet let me click on the networking check the subnet 1217 okay subnet is 1217 from this range okay scroll down and create endpoint so this will take a pass 2 to 3 minute or min maximum to 5 minute to be uh, in available condition currently it is in pending right so just wait for a couple of minute that it be complete so it will take few minute after once it successfully complete the question come how we can connect so for that one what we will do if i refresh i will select this ec2 instance go to the connect and here you will find out i got a message first what the instance does not have a public ip before address to connect using the ec2 instance connect browser based client the instance must have a public ip before address so currently i don't have a public ip if you have assigned this public ip with ec2 instance i can go with this method but currently i don't have public ip so i can select this one connect using ec2 instance connect endpoint with the private ip address and vpc endpoint so once my vpc should be in available condition i'll select this one and i'll can i can use this username maximum tunnel duration is 1 hour from 1 second and the endpoint so once my endpoint is successfully in available condition it will be reflect here so just wait let be let them complete till this is the graphical based method now think about a scenario where you want to access the session from command based environment not web based console so let it do it also let's see how we can access this private ec2 install session uh, from command based environment right so for that one we required minimum two prerequisites for first one is you have to install and configure latest aws cli tool and second one you make a cli user with ec2 instance connect permission right so uh, for that one uh, i have uh, my vm here you can see this is my vmware workstation and currently i have one virtual machine here let me log in first and let me check the ip address of this machine the ip address is 192.168.79.128 okay well, let me take the access from my git bash so as a such root at the rate 192.168.79.128 with the password yeah here i am so let me small from minimize that one so uh let me make a font size big first of all okay so this is my linux vm right uh which is available inside my virtual machine software okay so now you can see that this is 9.0 and here i hope i have already installed the aws cli latest software yeah 2.12 is there more than 2 so if you don't know how to install this software what you will do go to the aws uh, let it be load first cli install and you can directly install from the official website it's very easy very easy steps are there you can just follow and you can install click on the install or update the latest version of aws cli so for time saving purpose i have already followed the steps let me uh, show you how we can install it install or update the latest version of the aws cli this topic describe how to install or update the latest release of the aws command line interface on supported operating system right so you can scroll down you can find out linux is there macdos and windows is there right so you can click on linux and scroll down and just run these three command first command curl command will download this package with the name of aws cli version 2.zip folder and then you need to unzip this one and then you run to sudo install this script so once you have done successfully follow this step you will get automatically aws hyphen hyphen version output something like that so first of all first need is that aws software should be stopped 
second thing is that we need a IAM user with the permissions right what permission I told you the basic permission as well as EC2 instant connect permission so uh, let me go with the IAM and create a user and assign the permission right so I'll go with IAM okay let me check the status of my endpoint first it's pending okay taking time okay till I'm creating the IAM user with the associate permission so go with the user click on add user give the username Bob next attach policy directly first of all assign the basic permission that is EC2 read only sufficient okay this is the AWS managed policy next scroll down create user user is successfully created so we can click on the view user user is successfully created with AWS managed policy second policy we need to attach second policy is what second policy is your policy which is used for EC2 instance connect am I right so what I will do I will click on add permission or create inline policy even you can go with the customer managed policy choice up to you inline policy will be automatically removed once I remove this user right go to the JSON and let me remove this default policy from here and let me open my notepad this is the policy which we required visualizer it's based on visualizer effect is allow an EC2 instance connect star all action and all resources so I just copy this one from here safely copy and paste it inside this one okay let me remove the unnecessary space okay just click on the next okay policy name say demo policy p-o-l-i-c-y scroll down here the ec2 instance connect create policy so this JSON policy is available on AWS official website but I will share this one in my description also so just click on the create creating policy demo policy successfully created you can see currently I have two policy AWS managed policy and customer inline policy which is demo policy right now click on the security credentials and get access keys so create access key command line scroll down understand next description for demo and access key secret key so let me copy the access key and secret key and write let me paste it here because later on I required this one even I can download this file also but I am not going to download because after later on this demonstration I will remove this user so download or just click on the continue so now user is done so finally user with the permission successfully created let's move to the VM and connect to this private EC2 instance right so let me check the endpoint status first it should be enabled yeah it's available now so currently my endpoint is successfully created I have two method I told you first of all the graphical method second one is the command based method so let me go with the graphical one first then I'll show you the command method click on the connect go to the connect using EC2 instance connect endpoint EC2 user one hour and click here you got the demo endpoint select click on the connect so it will take few of minutes and then you will be successfully access your session using EC2 instance connect endpoint service see here is the private IP I don't require any public one currently establishing the connection and soon I will get my prompt yeah Amazon the next and guys you can see that if I run the ping gmail.com there is no internet connectivity even I don't have a public IP but I can access this one this is the beauty of what this is the beauty of EC2 instance connect endpoint clear so this is the graphical base this is the uh, uh, browser based client utility right but think about the command base so if you can go with the command here's the command where the AWS is already there now configure the user account AWS UNFI GURE configure give the access key and secret key first of all let me copy the access key copy smoothly paste again go with that one copy ok let me copy paste now user uh, reason us east-1 
output format will go with the default one default one is the json right now point is that how to connect so for the connect we require this command aws ec2 instance connect ssh and the instance id so let me remove the instance id from here and i pasted my own my instance id is uh, this one let me copy instance id modify the command now this is the complete command let me copy again from here and go back right click and paste if everything is good i should be able to connect from root at the root server one to my private ec2 instance using ec2 instance connect id are you sure to continue yes i am permanently added yep i was on linux 2023 so as you can see that i'm successfully login and get etc os release this is amazon linux 2023 right so you can see i have successfully connected to my private ec2 instance without any bastion host or any internet gateway i can control it and everything i can connect it from here right so guys hopefully uh with this now you have got an idea on EC2 instance endpoint connect and how easy it's to use, right? EC2 instance connect endpoint is free to use, but we get standard data transfer charges in the AWS, right? Finally, guys, this is the end of this topic. Hopefully, you enjoyed and learned new things. Soon I will come up with another new interesting topic. Till then, keep practicing. If you feel something I have missed or you wanted to know more something else, please reach out through my social media links, which is mentioned in the description. If you like this video, please do not forget to like, share like share and subscribe my channel and press the bell icon button for the latest update thanks for watching stay safe and goodbye